The Jewish National Fund USA has established the Richard and Nancy Simchis Arava Emergency Response Center, a project aligned with the organization's Blueprint Negev Initiative to revitalize southern Israel. The new state-of-the-art center will serve as a central command station to provide travelers and residents in this remote desert region the essential emergency assistance they need. So the, the building we're standing now, the emergency response center here in Sapir, was built by the Jewish National Fund USA. And we are sitting here, the rescue team, the firefighters, the police, MADA, the emergency rescue uh, forces, and we are all sitting here together. Uh, our offices are here, are here, the command center, the joint command center is sitting here, and of course it's a very modern building who facilitate all the teams and all the emergency teams. This is the first center of its kind in the country, combining all emergency services under one roof, and is the culmination of JNF USA's support for this region. In the last few years, we, have a lot of, we had a lot of support coming from the Jewish National Fund USA, um, we got a lot of equipment we've got, we had. We got new trucks, pickup trucks, vehicles, so we can go into the desert, we can drive safely. Of course, these cars are equipped with all the rescue equipment that we need, medical uh, equipment, uh, radios, uh, flashlights, all the things that we need in order to perform our duties as volunteers. Israel's Arava region is a popular destination for travelers, but it also holds many dangers. Well, traveling or hiking in the Arava, uh, people tend to forget that we are in the desert. And once they come here, sometimes during even winter, they come from Jerusalem or from Tel Aviv, which the weather can be very nice and uh, um, cool up there. And once they come into the desert, it may be even in the winter, of course, and during summer times, can be, could be very, very hot. So people forget to bring hats and to bring enough water while traveling. That's maybe the most uh, dangerous thing.